Hi there, this is Ranjit and another vlog style video in which I'll be just talking about my initial impressions about this uh, Moto X. Uh, this is not a review, I'm still testing this device, but uh, I'm getting a lot of questions regarding this Moto X. So I just wanted to give you my initial impressions. It's been almost two days since I'm using this device and here are my initial impressions uh, again just wait for a week or two for my full review uh, the first thing that i like about this moto x it's a very unique phone and uh, it has that unique feature called adaptive display for example this uh, phone is on standby now if you get any uh, let's say sms or whatsapp or anything uh, it will notify you over here directly and you don't even have to unlock the phone you can just tap on that and it gives you a preview of the message and uh, also for notifications etc it just glows and let you know and it's also actually kind of aware if you just pick up the phone uh, it shows you the notification you don't have to unlock the device so kind of uh, it's actually a very good thing and i do, just don't get it why not uh, other android manufacturers have this feature i'll actually make a dedicated video regarding this adaptive display and the touchless controls that this moto x has it's very difficult to explain it verbally so i'll make a demo about it in the next uh, one or two days uh, next is so some of you are asking about usb otg functionality on this moto x yes the usb otg functionality works i tested it but you have to use a third party what do you say app like nexus media manager uh, like we had to do on the nexus 5 so the usb otg functionality works uh, next thing that i really like about this uh, moto x is that super amoled screen it supports a 4.7 inch screen and the screen quality is actually very good it's vibrant uh, and it's actually very good even outdoors in direct sunlight uh, the screen is uh, uh, legible so the screen quality is excellent on this uh, moto x uh, next thing that I really liked about it after using it for the next two days is how compact this phone is. Though it sports a 4.7 inch screen, just look at it. This is my, uh, what do you say, iPhone 5S and if you look at it, uh, the Moto X is almost uh, that size and though it's sporting a 4.7 inch. So it's a very compact uh, form factor. Just compare it to some other Android phones. For example, this is, this is the Nexus 5, very popular, uh, sorry, this is the Galaxy S5, very popular phone. And just look at it. Though the Galaxy S5 has a 5-inch screen, it's significantly larger than the uh, Moto X. And I would say you can use this Moto X single-handedly. And that's a big advantage in my opinion. Uh, next is uh, some of you have asked about the responsiveness of the Moto X. It's a very responsive phone. I did not notice any lag etc and i tried some games also it ran at fine i'll test it a lot more with some high-end games also but in terms of responsiveness i would say it is a very responsive phone just as responsive as the nexus 5. now coming to one con that i have with this phone again these are my initial impressions i need to test this a lot more i noticed that the battery life on this uh, moto x uh, is not that great it sports a 2200 milliampere battery and the battery life i was getting is uh, simply not that great and it's very similar to the battery life i was getting on the nexus 5 which is not great uh, but i did some googling around and i noticed that a lot of uh, users were complaining about the battery life after the 4.4.2 update do note that this moto x has come out a long time before in uh, certain countries and many of those users were telling they, that they were getting great battery life but after this 4.4.2 kitkat update the battery life is not that great so i hope it's a software issue and motorola uh, might be able to solve it but as of now i would say i'm not that happy with the battery life of this uh, moto x again i'll be testing this moto x for the next uh, 10 days or so and i'll be producing a lot more videos and the full in-depth review also for this moto x so again stay tuned for uh, for that uh, on my channel so that's it for now for this quick impressions regarding this moto x and again just stay tuned to my channel for more videos on the moto x thank you this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video